Hi, Lawson. Hi, Lori. Hi, Nikki. Howdy, Nikki. <laughs> Joni. Claudia. Hi, Carolyn. You guys are waiting for me, were you? Hey, Barb. Hey, Ghislaine. See if this will come up. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Deborah. Welcome, everybody. Okay, come on. Hi, Irene. I think my computer is going to cooperate with me today. Hi, Linda Taylor. Okay, come on. Oh, I'm happy, Colleen. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not going to show you anything you don't already know. You could probably show us some tricks. I don't know what's going on here. So I'm just uh, trying to bring up my laptop so that I can see everyone's comments, but it's not cooperating. So I may have to go off my phone and uh, if I miss anything, um, I apologize. So yeah, this is totally being silly. Try that. That's true, Colleen. There is always something new to learn no matter what. And it's what we're all here for, right? To share and learn and and uh, share our ideas. So tonight, what I want to show you is this Distress Resist Spray. Um, it came out by Tim Holtz. And it's kind of really cool. Like, I didn't know what it was. Um, and then Heather gave it to me to try some stuff out on. And so I looked it up to see what Tim did with it. And I'm like, wow, that's really amazing stuff. So it's like a textured resist spray. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. And it's $10.59. And um, it's like almost two fluid ounces. So there's quite a bit in there. Um, hi, Colleen. Um Oh, you use it with paste too, Allison? I didn't see that. Hi, Linda Pilgrim. Um, I didn't get that far into playing with it. Uh, I really, I did a few different things, but I was kind of getting frustrated with it. And then Megan's like, well, you got to let it dry really good. And I'm like, okay, I'm not a patient person. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so uh, I... um did some stuff last night then and I let it totally dry and I, I uh, played with it some more this morning. So that's the key. You need to let it dry in between when you spray it and when you want to work with it. So uh, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to lift you up here, how to, how to use it. And then I'm going to show you what I did with it. So it's just this cool little bottle. So it's really, um, it's very sticky when it's wet. So when you are spraying it, spray it onto your paper with, uh, in a box lid or in a box even, um, so that it doesn't get all over your space. I have this thing I've had forever. You can see it. It's like, um, it's called a splat box. I haven't even been able to find it anymore. But as you can tell, I haven't been doing too much, but that's what I use. So uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of quick techniques and then I'm going to show you what I what I did with um, my finished projects. 
So you're just going to take your box and you're going to put your paper inside your box and then um, you're just going to spray. Now, depending on what kind of drops you want on your paper depends on how you spray your bottle. So if you want a lot of little 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 spots all over the place, then you like really get push it down hard. If you just want um, some bigger drops in spots, then you just don't push it very hard. Or you can even um, just take the top your top off and just flick it on from from the stem or from the nozzle. Um, so what this will do will it will make whatever color you spray it on stay that color and it will resist any ink that you put over top of it. So if I want some spots to be white, I'm going to spray it onto my white cardstock and I'm just using plain old cardstock. Uh, you could use like this is the Nina paper. You could use the um, oh what is it? You could use watercolor paper if you want. If you're going to spray a lot, you could use the Vicky Booten paper, um, which is a for mediums and stuff. Depending on how much you spray, will depend on what you uh, what kind of paper you want. So I'm just going to do some let's see what did I do on this one I did some okay I'm just going to show you if hopefully you can see what I'm doing put it down a little bit so I'm just going to spray it whoops try and hit your paper <laughs> I totally hit the back of my box not my paper oh my gosh and then I'm just going to like hit a little bit push a little bit and it'll push the so then you can tell, I think, yeah, you can t see where I sprayed um, the big spray over here is all over the place. And then here, it's just um, spots here and there. Hi, Linda Thomas. Is that, if that makes sense. And then you have to totally let this dry. So it probably takes... Um, probably half an hour to an hour for it to dry really good. You could dry it with a heat tool, but it will bubble if you get too close to it. So you may want to, even if you, maybe a hair dryer would dry it faster. So um, by magic of camera magic, oh, and after you use it, you want to wipe off your, your spout every time. So then you won't have it clog, it won't clog up, okay? Uh, and then by the magic of TV, I have uh, a sample here that's dry. And this one I sprayed before I had supper about an hour ago, and now it's good to go. So I'm just going to take some ink. Uh, let's take some yummy villainous potion distress ink. You can use any watercolor ink. It's fine. Um, I need a blending brush okay hi Marianne yes Allison yeah um, otherwise your your nozzle will get this will get clogged I think that's what you're talking about the nozzle to make sure you wipe it off every time I usually um, I've been using a baby wipe or my towel so so then I'm just gonna take some villainous potion and I'm just going to Rub it onto my cardstock. I'm just going to make this one purple just to show you what it does. So like if you wanted to have different colors on your paper, you could, I would put down the lightest color first and then, oh, I love this purple. Holy moly. It's the first time I'm using it. Um, start with the lightest color first and then go darker and darker and darker. I'll show you. And you can see where I've sprayed already. You can see where the bubbles are. I think you can see that. And I'm just 
And you can put it on as heavy or as light as you want. Oh man, this is gonna look awesome. Okay. And then you just take your cloth and you wipe all over and it wipes the ink off of where you sprayed. Sorry for the bumping. And see, you can see the white come through the bottom. How cool is that? Looks like a, a galaxy or something. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Ta-da! Hi, Joanne. So that's how it works. And so wherever you have this sprayed, it will stay whatever color is underneath it. So now if I wanted to use another color, um, but I wanted some of the purple to stay, I would just take my little box, put it in my box, and just, um, I'm going to flick some bigger. over where the purple is. Like maybe you wanna put some darker purple on, like more purple than this, so then you're gonna do that, so you can do that. Or you could spray more on it if you wanted to, and then you're gonna let that sit. And it'll be like, it'll be bumpy too, so it's, it is bumpy, so it gives it some texture, and then you're just gonna let that dry. I'll just set that there to dry. So would you put the Alice in your same with, with the paste and the mist with water and voila, pick up paper towels. So would you put the paste on, let it dry, then put the mist on and then wipe it off? Or would you put the mist on and then the paste over top of the mist and then wipe it off? You can definitely do it with it's you can definitely do it with a stencil as well. Um, I just I um, didn't want to do one with a stencil now because I you'd have to go and wash it right away because it does it it, it is really sticky. Okay. So then you can also do printed paper. So um, let's say I wanted to just color this paper and just have some of the rainbows hot shine through um, or some of the pattern paper come through. So I'm just going to put some of this on. You can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just rubbing it on top and actually well the one that's I have dried is a different kind of pattern but you'll get the idea so that's I just wanted to cover the rainbows you could just spray it to have a random and then you're gonna let that dry so I'll set that aside to dry Paste first, then go with spray. And you let your paste dry, Allison. Okay, and then by um, magic of, t of television, again, um, I sprayed this one, and I sprayed this one, this piece of um, printed paper with the spray. I didn't just drop it on like, like I showed you. So I think what I'm gonna try, maybe I'll try the purple again. I really like the purple. I'm going to cover it with purple. See what happens. Give us some some fun different colors. Oh yeah. This stuff is pretty cool. I've never I've never used this stuff before and then I'm like, "Man, that's so cool. You could do some really really fun designs with it and it gives texture to your cards too okay or texture to your paper don't you don't have to make cards you could put 
in a card or layout or mixed medium. You could put it in um, your journals, whatever you like. And then I'm just going to wipe it off. And you can just see the pattern colors underneath. If I had a, I could use black maybe and throw some black on here. Let's see what that does. Oh, maybe this isn't a good black. I don't know. It's making it more go more green than anything. <laughs> All trial and error and what you like, right? I need some black soot for the distress ink. I think that would work better. Wipe that off. Well, that kind of, I don't know, that kind of looks neat. Yeah, you could do night sky for sure. So that is basically how you use this resist spray. Oh, this one's still, this one's still drying. Um, so now I'm, I'm going to show you it's what I did. Oh, actually, I got one more thing to show you before I show you what I did. Um, I took a piece of paper and I just sprayed a bunch of it on there and I let it dry and I punched out a bunch of circles. So I thought those might be fun to make kind of like ornaments. So I'm going to use some red and again, I'm just going to rub it on there. And these ones um, I sprayed quite a bit on, so it's not a lot of, it's really, really bubbly. <laughs> that makes sense. Like those commercials with Michael Buble. It's bubbly, not buble. <laughs> um, that and get some green. It is interesting, isn't it, Erin? It's it's a different different little medium. Fun little medium. Oh, I took some off with my fingers. <laughs> and depending again, like I said, how much you spray and how much or how much you don't spray will depend on how um how big your dots are. Wipe it off. You'll you'll have ink all over your fingers, but that's okay. Gives it some texture too, right? Yeah, this see this I sprayed too fine, so you can't really see too much of the resist spray, but it does give it some texture, that's for sure. Okay, let me just close these up. Oh, I just about lost my little things. With these, I was going to make ornaments out of them. My card base. So then I was just going to get some glue. And glue some ornament tops. These ornament tops I cut out of uh, an Elizabeth Craft. The, the, her winter line that she brought out a little while ago with just the snowflakes and whatnot. I did a class on those. Or I did a, a night showing you all the stuff I made with the... Of course, we're sold out. So don't fall in love with these. <laughs> Unless you already have them and then it'll give you an idea of what you can use with them. Use them for. I miss Heather popping on. Hi, Heather. My, uh, I can't see my comments on my laptop, so I have to look at my phone, and my phone shows me two comments at a time. It's crazy. Laptop is not cooperating.
never cooperates when you want it to. Oh, when I'm using, I'm using the, um, oh, someone answered you. It's the Distress Resist Spray for those that are late coming in. Lori, your iPad freezes a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> I know mine, mine will freeze once in a while too, but um, I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Maybe that one will help. Okay, so I I made them into little ornaments. So then I can just add them to my card. And I would get some string. Not string, baker's twine. <laughs> Ribbon. I didn't I didn't grab any. And then just um you can see that. And then just put Merry Christmas. But like it gives it some cool different dimension on your ornaments without having to emboss it like with an embossing folder it is a cool effect isn't it hmm. okay so now i'll show you what else i came up with um oh that one's drying i stuck my finger in it nice <laughs> oh and i was gonna color this one before i came on tonight and i totally forgot so i made this little card I'll put that down so you guys can see it better so what I did with this one was I took some circles just punched out of um, notepads uh, sticky notes and I just put them on with my um, um, what's it called easy the repositionable tape I put it on like that and then I sprayed um, I sprayed my spray and so then when I t and I left them on while I was putting on the purple and I did that and then I took it off and then I stamped my little guys in there from the hey there stamp set and I think we still have some of those if uh, um, you can stamp on top, but I think it would come off, Colleen, because it's a, it resists the ink. Unless you stamp on it maybe with um, non-water-based ink, maybe with like, um, mm, like oh, what's it called, stays on or something. That might work. Yeah, thanks, Heather. Stays on might work. I don't have any, so I I didn't try any. I have to get some. But yeah, this is this is kind of a neat little technique. Looks like they're in little bubbles. And then I did put some more after I did the original purple, because again I sprayed way too much. Um, I did some more little dots of uh, like I showed you for my other card by just taking taking the top off and putting some drops down just to give it a little more. And then I'm going to color these little guys in. I just for, didn't get a chance to before we came on. Actually, I forgot. But anyway. Uh, then I did this card. Um, so this one was just with red. And I, um, I colored it all first with the red. I could have used red cardstock, I guess, but I wouldn't have work the same I, I don't think so I did uh, my blending with the red all over first then I spritzed it a bit with my um, emboss resist spray and then I um, put more red on to make it darker and then uh, of course you can see where the, the it's lighter in some spots where I have the resist spray and I tried to do something fun here with the resist spray, but it didn't work. So I put a ladybug over top of it. Right, Mark? <laughs> if Mark Pimbleton is watching, you always stick a ladybug on and no one will ever know you have a mistake there. 
So this ladybug um, and the leaf is actually a lawn fawn dye. And I believe we do have some in the store yet. And so that's what I made with that one. I didn't put a sentiment on it yet because I, um, with my most of my cards, I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet. So I don't put a sentiment on it at all. So that's just basically pretty basic, basic card. I love the ladybug too, Carolyn. <laughs> They're my fave. Then this one I haven't finished yet, but because I want a spaceship, but I don't have a spaceship stamp. So I don't know if you guys can see this very well. If the glare, maybe it's too glary. Maybe that's better. I don't know if that's better or not. Can you see that okay? So with this one, I sprayed first for the white. And then I just took um, some green, put some green on in spots. And then I took purple and put purple on in spots. And I just wiped it off and kind of gave it that um, galaxy kind of look and then um, I, I put some more bigger drops and then this was where I was having troubles because where these little dots are they were supposed to be a different color and I'm like why is this not working and Megan's like you need to let it dry <laughs> I'm like okay patience so that I want a little spaceship over here or, or flying in there or like maybe a shooting star or something would be cool but uh i gotta hit my friends up to see or maybe at heather's this weekend i can find something to go on this cart but that's what um that's what i did with that one if that makes sense that was fun so then the last one i did was this one and i had my sister in mind for this one and i used um prima flowers so with this one what I did was I used the Elizabeth Craft um, alphabet and I cut her name out of a piece of cardstock and uh, because the A has a middle I saved the A or the middle so and I put it down like this and I put it um, just like this and I uh, used my um, temporary adhesive and then I sprayed it really well where the letters were and then um, took that off right away so it wouldn't stick because it's sticky and then I let that dry but you can see I didn't let it dry very very well because <laughs> it's got some purple and then again I just took um, some purple and some blue and some green and just did some different um, blending and then I, I wiped it off of her off the letters of her name and then I just took some ribbon and again the prima flower and I have a little card for her so I'm ready to go for her 60th birthday in June next year <laughs> as long as I know oh thanks thanks Erin how unique is this so yeah so um that was, it was fun. It was a little challenging when I was trying to figure out, okay, what word can I put on that only has, um, that I can cut out the letters all at once. And then I'm like, oh, my sister's name is perfect. And like, as you can see, like the L, the L is not perfect, but it's totally because some of the ink got in underneath, but, uh, or the spray, I mean, but you can totally make out that it's her name. So that's fun and then I was going to try um, this design I cut out from Elizabeth Craft uh, embossing no Elizabeth Craft die that I had um, there's supposed to be a snowflake that hangs here but it ripped when I took it out took it or was doing stuff with it uh, I would try I was trying it to spray it so that I could get this image um, from the spray but it was too it's too fine but if you look and see it's this is shiny now from all the spray that I put on it so that'll look really cool um, that would look even cool on like a card as well because and it's shiny too and it's got some te texture because I sprayed quite a bit because I was trying to get it to work but so 
So yeah, so that is how you can use the Emboss Resist Spray. So you can take any of these um, ideas that I gave you and you can put them in a layout or like I said, in your journal or you can make some cards like I made. Um, it's totally, totally, and just play with it. Like, I don't know that that's, it's drying, but I don't think it's dry enough that I could rub, rub it without it falling off. Same with that. So I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to touch it when I when I shouldn't be. It is neat, isn't it? And I think we have one of these in the store, if I'm not mistaken. Thanks, Lori. Very cool tin against. So, of course, um, and I forgot to mention it at the beginning. I usually do. Oh, it would leave, even look cool on that. That's kind of neat. On a maybe a pink or a blue base that kind of looks nice what do you guys think <laughs> i kind of like that just by chance that going on top of that purple one. Ooh, i kind of i really like that hmm maybe i'll have to make my a card like that yeah um okay so we got a prize of course i should have said it at the beginning but you all hung in there with me which is awesome um so I'm going to put this up so you can see the prize and move that out of the way. So it's going to be a pad of the Vicki Booten White Foundations Mixed Media Art Paper. Um, so I think the keyword, oh, I don't want to use any of those as keywords. We'll get kicked out of Facebook. Um, how about media? M M E D I A. So um, comment the word media and then like my post once my post goes up and for a chance to win this fun pad of paper. It's got um, I don't know how many sheets in there. Twelve? Gotta be more than twelve. Nope, there's twelve. 12 um, of the mixed media and they're really thick pieces of paper. I use this all the time when I'm using like paste or paints or sprays. Um, you can use it with with the resist distress resist spray. Um, yeah, it's really it's really awesome paper. So again, the keyword is media M E D I A. And you'll like my post when I po finish my post, not the don't like the video, like my post. And then you'll have a chance to win this fun paper. And make sure you guys come in and get your prizes when you win because uh, we've got a few sitting there and, and these are awesome prizes and you can use them and then you can share with us what you make with your prize. <laughs> we would love to see it. So I believe... There is a Ricky and Lucy show tomorrow night um, with possibly a special guest. I don't know. She's got to work tonight, so she may be sleeping by the time <laughs> by the time Dan and Heather uh, get on to do their show. I think it's at, going to be at 8 o'clock, I believe. Oh, Lori, I hope you, you do get to come in next week. This Monday would have been perfect to come in because it was so nice out, sunny and everything. But uh, hopefully next Monday's the exact same because it was perfect weather for driving. That's for sure. So thank you everyone uh, for joining me and seeing exactly. Oh yeah, Heather said eight o'clock tomorrow night. Eight o'clock, Heather and Dan. I think it's another series of if Dan can do it, you can too. Or if Ricky can do it, so can you. Thank you, Heather. Yes, yes, we call him, I, I still call him Dan, but yes, if it's Ricky, Ricky and Lucy show. So it should be awesome. And this weekend, uh, the, the ladies are getting together again for Ricky Palooza 2 to just have some crafty downtime together and just um, celebrate Christmas and celebrate being friends and it's going to be fun. So I'm looking forward to it again. 
So, all right, everybody, thanks again. And until next time, happy crafting.